Hey, welcome back to Beer Vlog. Um, uh, it's been a while. Um, I didn't get a chance to. You didn't get a chance to see the last review. I'm gonna try and edit it, put it back up there. That was the uh, the saison from no, Saint Fouillon. Um, today we are going to be doing the Stone Imperial Russian Stout. It's a big boy. He's a uh, 10, 10 and a half percent ABVs and uh, 90 IBUs. So definitely looking forward to this. Um, uh, contradictory glassware suggestions, obviously. Um, they were like, well, you can use a pint or you can use a snifter. This thing's a big beer. I'm not, I don't know if I want to use a snifter, but snifter is round bottom glass. Which I prefer. Um, just opens up the beer more. You guys can disagree. Um, however, when you go to Stone's website, they have the board, the beer poured into a big tulip-shaped sort of its own glass, which is rent big round bottom, wide open mouth top. So, I mean, it's a you know stout. You know you can't go wrong. So, when. Checked out some of the ingredients. Uh, didn't see much on the. I don't want to sit there and read the back of this, of this to you guys, but um, and I don't want to learn too much about it beforehand. But I uh, didn't know that the, the hops were warrior hops. Ah, uh -huh. even a cellaring suggestion. That's wonderful. Cool. Age at cellar temperature 55 degrees Fahrenheit or below. And you have that. So I'm gonna go with this. Nice round bottom glass. Let's get to it. Mmm. Smells like coffee, right on the nose. Coffee, lots of malts, really toasty. And like roasted, almost um chocolatey on the high end. Like a lighter, springy chocolate. Hmm. See how it pours. Like motor oil. Oh man, look at that. Trying not to glug it. I want to get some head on it too. Nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. Mmm. Really completely opaque. Really dark brown verging on black. Um, uh, like a coffee. Um, oh man. Uh, a slight touch of the hops. You can smell the hops through there. And then it just smells like everything I mentioned before just exploded in your face. Mmm. Smells wonderful. My head's already receding a little bit. I probably poured a little bit too much in for this glass and not fast enough, but that's fine. Mmm. Yep, again with the... Yeah. Chocolate and coffee. Slight tang. Not much. Um, all right. Here's to you. Mm -hmm. Oh man. The first thing that hit you. Mm. The first thing that hit you was all the. It's really thick. It's really thick, but smooth. <clears throat> Washes right over. And you can taste the 10.5, <laughs> let me tell you. <clears throat> That's one of the really, and it's a big beer. Um, but it tastes like, it tastes it, really strong coffee notes. Huge coffee notes. Um, a slight, um, this slightly bitter, bitter chocolate. 
on the aftertaste. Really huge, uh, huge beer. Mm, wonderful though. Oh man. Mm. I'm trying to think of how else I can describe this. It's just alcohol. <laughs> Definitely an alcohol taste. Um, and the texture, aftertaste leaves sort of leaving like a coating on your tongue. You know, almost like you're leaving. Like, <clears throat> It has the taste of like if you leave a coffee bean or you know, like a chocolate covered espresso bean, exactly what it tastes like. Mm. Wow, I want to see. Uh, let's see what this has. Let's see what this looks like if it's after it warms up a little bit. Um, so we'll let this warm up a little and we'll get back to you in a few. Here's to you. Uh, the mouth feel has changed a bit. Um, it's become very full. Um, very, very, um, very thick, but almost like you're, almost like you're, you're eating a piece of chocolate. It's that soothing in your mouth, uh, but almost more like it's a chocolate liqueur. Uh, the alcohol content is very high on this one, um, even though it is only uh, 10.5. <clears throat> it's it's a pretty big beer, but um, uh, you can you can taste it. Um, uh, but it's absolutely wonderful. Um, no, granted, that's a that's a personal uh, touch on it, but uh, it's it, it, it's become very um, not thick, but just um, almost very very filling. So I just wanted to note that. Hey, um, boy, this is a big beer. Um, toward the end, the mouth feels thinned out a little bit, <clears throat> not much. Um, it's just had more of the liquor taste to it, um, and so it goes down a little, little easier. But the, you know, the rush of uh, harshness, um, you know, like after you drink some uh, straight liquor or something like that. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, then again, um, I'm biased because I have a I'm a fan of big beers, and I think that's where you run into the problem with rating systems. <clears throat> so if you rate a, if you're going to rate a beer, you know you're going to rate it on, you know, not just what you you know uh, what's in the beer and everything like that. You're you're rating it against uh, what your preference is. So, you know, if if I like pilsners, I'm not going to rate this highly at all. You know, it's a it's a, an imperial stout, and it's one hell of an imperial stout. Let me tell you, I mean, this is this challenges old Rasputin, in my opinion, for um, for, for status as far as uh, imperial stout goes. This is this is phenomenal. Um, you know, uh, you should rate it by style, um, and it should be how well does this fit into this kind of style or excel or create its own style or whatever. It's subjective. It becomes subjective. It becomes your taste. Okay? Um, now granted there are rules you have to follow. Um, and I'm not saying that every beer is equal. Of course that's not true. But what I'm saying is um, I can't just say like oh, I really like this beer. I'm biased. I like big beers. You know what I mean? I like big beers more than I like Pilsners. Than I like bloggers. Then I like IPAs even, um, you know, not much. I think I'm, you know, I'm becoming more into hops as things go along, but, um, yeah, uh, tangent back. Um, and this is a big beer. So, uh, drinking this, be prepared, be prepared for some kick. Um, uh, but it's very enjoyable, especially for like an after dinner, relaxing end of the night kind of thing, chilling out. It's great for that. Um, I enjoy this very much. The, the the coffee, you can still smell the coffee and everything else uh, in here. Uh, the chocolate's died down a bit, but um, you know it still has a very strong coffee taste to it. Um, 
very heavily malted. So, um, the, uh, I recommend this beer, uh, especially if you like big beers. Um, definitely go for this. Um, sorry, Chad, I haven't come up with a rating system yet. I don't know how I feel about the one to ten. Um, but as far as as far as imperial stouts go, we can give this in the imperial stout one to ten. I would give this a nine and a half or a ten. It's phenomenal. So, anyway, good one. This is beer vlogging. Here's to you.